This is a video companion for the Be Credible textbook on searching current property records with a specific focus on Douglas County in Kansas. Before we get into the searches, it's important to remember that property records usually live at the county level. That is, it's the county government that's responsible for recording and maintaining property records. So depending on where the property you want to search is located, you need to determine and specify that location's county. In my case, I am located in Douglas County in Kansas, and I have my search results linked to my location. When I search for property records, the Douglas County property search link comes up first. If I was interested in another county, I would need to specify that in my search. But for Douglas County, I follow the link and get to a disclaimer page that says basically that I won't misuse the information provided in this database, which I agreed to do. Next, I can select the type of search I want to conduct. And in this case, I want to search real estate by street address. Let's say that I want to learn who owns the building on Massachusetts Street where the Phoenix Gallery is located. The Phoenix Gallery sells various home decorations made by local artists, and this is what it looks like in Google Street View. The address is 825 Massachusetts, so I type in that information in the database. The first screen shows me the name of the owner, which in this case is Blue Cypress LLC, this is a company, so to figure out who owns this company, I will need to do another search in a different database. For now, I'm going to make a note of this company's name in my notes. Clicking on the parcel number or the view details link brings me to a screen with slightly more information. Here I see again the name Blue Cypress LLC. And I also see two different addresses, a property address and a mailing address. It's interesting that the mailing address is different than the property address. I would write down that second address so I can perform a search on that address next. I also see information about the property's values. It looks like there is a commercial and a residential portion to the building, and they are appraised separately. Together, the property is appraised at about $1.3 million. There is also tax information. It looks like this property is billed about $36,000 a year in property taxes. The last piece of information that can be useful is the property's legal description. In this case, it's Massachusetts Street, Lot 57. I want to also write down this information because I will use it again when I look for the property's historical ownership information. Okay, I can now go back and search for the other address that popped up in this record, 4828 Quail Crest. As you can see from Google, it's kind of a nondescript office building in West Lawrence. When I put in that address in the database, it shows me that the owner is Ortho LLC, which is another company. So I still don't know what individual owns the downtown building or this building on Quailcrest. Let's do another search. This time, let's only plug in the street name. In this case, the street I want to look for is Bower Brook. It's not a very long street, so I get a list of all the property records that are available for that street. You may recognize some of the owner names here. The one that should jump out is Billy Self Jr. Yes, it's that Billy Self. When I look closer at the record, I see that there are two owners, Bill and Cindy Self. I also see that their house is appraised for $2.6 million and that they pay about $40,000 in property taxes. And here is the Google Street View image of that house. All right, so that's how you would search for current property records in Douglas County. Unfortunately, every county's records are presented differently. So if you are looking for property records one county over in Johnson County, Kansas, 
This is what its property records database looks like. In Jackson County, Missouri, which is where Kansas City, Missouri is, this is what the database looks like. In Sedgwick County, where Wichita is, this is what it looks like. In Hennepin County, where Minneapolis is, this is what the database looks like. And in Lake County, Illinois, which is in the Chicago area, this is what it looks like. So when you're interested in a property that's located in a specific county, you need to first find that county's property records database and then figure out how that database works. Some of the databases are going to work similarly to the Douglas County database and others will work very differently. In either case, I wish you a very productive searching.